Hello guys, Namaste. Welcome to my video. This is Vishwas Timbal Sena, and in this video, I am gonna talking about the around Annapurna trek. So, we are gonna do the 12 days Annapurna trekking information uh, video. So, I am gonna tell you what to do from the beginner and where to end. How much does it cost? How much does the permit cost? How much does the guide cost? How much does the accommodation? How much will be the fooding? All the information, all the prices. I'm gonna give you the information in this one video so that if you are planning to go to another Annapurna and then if you're watching my video you don't have to go to another video and you don't have to go to watch another video or you don't have to go to anywhere else you can just ask me anything uh, for uh, like I'm gonna give you my contact uh, in the description box so it's not gonna be problem for you guys so let's start the video from the beginning so you will land to Kathmandu airport from, from there uh, you can take a taxi from the taxi counter in airport you can get the taxi counter so from taxi counter you can get the taxi so from taxi if i stay in the tunnel uh from uh Kathmandu airport the international airport to go come to tunnel it will take seven dollar for you guys so before going trekking we have to buy the permit and teams so permit and teams uh it will cost forty dollar if you are going with a guide and then if you, it will cost fifty dollar if you are going without guide so you have to buy that if you didn't buy you uh, buy the permits in Kathmandu then uh, uh, in checkpoint uh, if you want to if you want to buy in the checkpoint in the on the way they will charge you double the price than Kathmandu so it's better to buy in Kathmandu and other things it's better to buy the bus tickets before uh, the day from Kathmandu in Kathmandu and the bus will leave uh, 6 a.m. in the morning 6 to 7 a.m. in the morning and it will take eight hours to reach Lamzung Besi Sahar from where we will, we will start our trekking. So please remember that all the things that I said to you. If you have any question, you can just comment me. And then yeah, if you are still watching this video, and then if you want to know more, please watch the video till the end. I'm gonna give you a lot of information in this only one video. And then please, before that, if you are still not subscribing my channel, please subscribe 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 my channel it will worth a lot and then um, if you have any advice suggestion you can just put your suggestion in the comment box okay so from uh, Kathmandu uh, in the morning we will take a bus at 7 a.m. and then we will go to like 7 to 8 a.m. if we take a bus we will be in Lamzung Besi Sahar at 3 3 30 maximum 4 o'clock okay so we can stay overnight in Lamzung Besi Sahar also or we can take the same time another sharing jeep also sharing jeep to Jaga to Dharapani it will cost like $25 to $40 it depends okay it depends because of the sharing jeep sometime it will cheaper also but $25 $30 will be the minimum price to go to Jagat or Dharapani so you can go to Jagat and stay there overnight or you can go to Tarapan directly also it's on you like how many days you have so I'm gonna talking about the 12 days trekking so we are going to stay in uh, like uh, Lamzung Besi Sahar and Lamzung Besi Sahar there is a lot of hotel is like the city area you can get the hotel room from $5 to $30 or $25 you can say not more than that you don't have to pay more than $25 even in the good hotel uh, so the slums and basis are after like uh, they will drop you so around they will drop you in the basis are exactly and then around you can see there's a lot of hotels a lot of hotels you can check one of the hotels even cheaper one or even expensive one or you can book before also so we just reached the lungs and basis are from lungs and basis are where we will start our travel video let's start the video so this is the check-in point in Lamzung Besi Sahar. It's just near to the bus uh, station, near to the hotel you stay there. And then from Lamzung, uh, we took uh, a jeep to uh, Chamje. Chamje. So it will take, I think, three hours for us to, three, two and a half hours, three hours for us to uh, drop uh, by jeep to Chamje. And from Chamje, we start our walking. So these days, like this is our second day, first day we stayed uh, in Lamzu. So second day is like uh, for Dharapani. Second day we will go to Dharapani. 
So Tarapani is at a height of 1800 meter. Is around more or less like 1800 meter height. So to go to Dharapani from Chamche it will take uh, like 6 to 7 hours. So you can say from Lamzung uh, like 2 hours or 3 hours to go to Chamche and then for after that 6 hours so 9 hours it will take for second days. And then these days you will see a lot of waterfalls on the way and the, the way is really beautiful. Really 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 beautiful. So uh, on the way there is another village Tal. This village I will show you in the video also. So this village Thal is really beautiful. You can also stay overnight if you have a time. I love to stay there overnight because it's uh, on the bay of river. It's really beautiful village there. And then this around Annapurna is one of the famous trek for me also. As even I did this uh, 14 times, that is always in my bucket list because the view is really beautiful and this village is Tal you can see of course my video quality is not good this is like the old video is one of the memory from my mobile so I just want to upload it this is called Sorten in the Tibetan language this is like a temple type this is like you can see lots of waterfall We just took, uh, we, we can took the lunch in Tal and then after we can just move further. And yeah, on the way this type of scenery will amaze you, mesmerize you, it's really nice trekking. It's one of the best trekking in the world, I can say, is, I can say definitely is one of the best trekking in the world you will love it of course if you did it you will love it the guys they are from Italy quite nice guy and I'm guiding them I'm a guide actually I'm guiding uh, in Nepal for seven years so I'm gonna sharing you this experience also of course I will make a nice video after this when I will have another chance to go there So uh, like uh, the second day will be Dharapani and third day like we can go to Chame. From Dharapani to go to Chame it will take almost 6 hours and every day we will walk like uh, 14, 15, 16 kilometers okay not more than that. So in every day the time will count as like six to eight hours with stop, with rest, with taking lunch time, tea time, tea break, all the break. But if you are slower than that or if you are faster than that, it's on you. You can be faster, you can be slower, it's on you. So this is our third day. Sorry like I'm... I'm not gonna put any video from Dharapani because I didn't take. And in Dharapani, there's a lots of nice and good hotel also. You can you can choose one of them. Yeah, and to stay in the lodge, it will cost 300 rupees, Nepali rupees, or three dollar you can say. That is the maximum price they will charge you to stay there and then for the fooding is like uh, $20 will be enough for lunch, dinner and breakfast tea. This is we are in Chame and uh, in Chame we stay in Eagle Eye Hotel but Chame also there is a lots of hotel, lots of hotel you can choose yourself but Eagle Eye Hotel also one of the nice hotel is one of the nice hotel in Chame. 
and they are eating uh, dhingdo. Dhingdo is like the local food from Nepal. This food only you can found, find in Nepal. Nowhere else in the world. And this is a kind of energetic food, okay? Like uh, we use the buckwheat also, we can make it from buckwheat also, corn flour also, uh, and other, other flours also. This is a mane. Yeah, we always use our, our right hand to spin it, okay? Never use your left hand and then always, if you found the temple, just uh, round it in the clockwise to respect the God. In our Hinduism, we just make a round, three rounds, uh, clockwisely to any temple, just to respect the God. So this is our fourth day, uh, we are going to Pisang. In Pisang, there is two Pisang. One is lower Pisang, one is upper Pisang, uh, another is upper Pisang. So if you want to see the nice view of Annapurna too, you can go to upper Pisang. Upper Pisang is a very nice place. Or you can stay in the lower Pisang also. There is just, uh, I think, 30 minutes difference or even not that. Like on the way is a little bit up. Um, and these days like uh, from Tame to Pisang, it will take six hours by walking or seven hours you can say seven hours walking and then you will you can go to Pisang and Pisang is in the height of 4100 meter lower Pisang is 4000 meter and upper Pisang is 4100 meter sorry not 4000 3000 I'm a little bit confused, sorry. It's 3000 and 3100 meter. And in this trekking, like most of the lodges have the same quality. Some of have like um, maybe bad. I don't have any bad experience in any hotel in this trekking. Every, every every lodges have like the same quality food same price menu the same things so this is our fifth day and we are heading to manang and from pisang to manang there is one is like the roadway and another is like the trailway trailway will be a really long way it will take like nine to ten hours for, to go by trailway from ngadi there is a village ngadi or if you want to go by roadway there is a village braka you have to you can go to by uh, go to manang by braka so height of the manang is 3450 meter And it will take like uh, by a down way six hours, five to six hours. And if you have walk like a normal walk, like a normal, normally it will take five hours. So we can go to Manang and we can take a lunch there. You don't have to stop on the way. But these days you will feel like uh, uh, you are in the another place, you are in the mountain. And you can you can think like this trekking is like a uh, religious trekking also like there's a lots of monasteries a beautiful monasteries on the way and lots of money like you can spin the money yes in Manang there is a hotel Yeti hotel Tilizo hotel and then there is another colorful hotel I forgot the name of that hotel and Himalayan Singhi hotel is the nice one is really nice one the, the hotel the uh, service they provide you, the food they provide you is really nice there. Or you can choose also in Manang also there is a lot of hotel. You can say it's like this uh, is a very big village in this trekking. And then in Manang you have to stay like the rest day, acclimatized day you can say. It. Acclimatized means like you will stay in the place and then you will go some high like 300 meter height. 
there is one Chongkhor Dada he is in 3800 meter like uh, Manang is 3500 meter you can say and then uh, Chongkhor Dada is 3800 meter so you can go to Chongkhor Dada 300 meter up and then you again come down to uh, the same place Manang so that uh, that how that's how you acclimatize yourself you make yourself uh, habitual in the environment the oxygen level you will fix your oxygen level in the environment of that place so that is called acclimatized day so in this track also like six day will be this day in manang and seventh day we will go to yakarka yakarka is not that much far but is almost uh, 4000 meter height 3900 meter height so uh, 3000 yeah 3900 400 4000 meter height but it's better to stay in Yakarko or after that also on other village you can stay there also but it, it will take only four hours from Manang you can take another way also to go to Tilito Lake I will make another video so from Manang it will take like three days uh, one day to go to Tilicho base camp, another day you will go and come back to the Tilicho base camp and another day you can come back to Yakarka. So three days more if you want to go to Tilicho trek from same uh, around Annapurna trek then it will take three days more to you. So this trekking um, the view is not nice because it's like the spring season. So I'm gonna give you the information like the October September, October, November is the best season and April, May is the best season. March, April, May is the best season. If you like this, this time is June. So June, July is like the rainy season here. Yeah, in Yakharka there is a hotel, Gangapurna. It's a very nice hotel. We always, I always like to stay in Yakharka, yeah, Gangapurna hotel. I recommend you this hotel and from Yakarka uh, uh, 8 days we will go to high camp so in these days if you are really in a good condition no problem nothing not have to worry about the, your body then you can go and stay in the high camp otherwise you can go to high camp and then you can go back down to Fedi. There is a Fedi name, Fedi. So to go from Yakarka to Fedi, it will take like three to four hours, and then another one hours, one and a half hours to go to high camp. So it's on you. You can go to high camp, and then if you are feeling well, no problem. Then you can stay there, sleep there overnight. If you are not feeling well, then you can go back down to Fedi. That's how you acclimatize yourself, and then you will not have any problem. And then in Fedi there is three hotel and in high camp there is only one hotel. So in Fedi the first hotel is very nice. In high camp you don't have choice. We stay in high camp. And then from high camp like another day, next day, we start early morning to do the pass. So to reach the pass it will take three hours normally from high camp. So high camp is like height of 4800 meter. And then Fedi is uh, approximately like 4,400 meter height. So it's better to stay in Fedi, but uh, it's in your condition. For me, I love to stay in high camp, but yes, uh, if I feel bad or uh, my friends feel bad, then I will go back down to Fedi. And then this is Thorongla Pass. So Thorongla Pass, there is nothing actually, but the view is amazing. Like we don't have any views. So Thorangla Pass is at the height of 5,416 meter and from Thorangla Pass uh, like uh, this is our maximum height and then we will go back down to Muktinath. So Muktinath is at the height of 3,800 meter and Muktinath is like the biggest valuable Hindu temple for our Hindu religion. Uh, this is Lord Shiva temple and then one of the biggest Tiva, Shiva temple. So the Hindu in Hindu religion, we believe that the Muktinath temple is like the head of the Shiva, Lord Shiva. And yes, Manang and Mustang, we will go, we will come back. We will finish the trekking by Manang and Mustang. And Manang Mustang is uh, the desert land of our country, Nepal. That is the only two 
district that uh, was filled by desert area. So Muktinath is in Mustang. Uh, after Torang La Paz is Mustang. Before Torang La Paz is Manang. So from Mustang, Muktina, there is another trekking also, Upper Mustang. Of course, I will make the video about the Upper Mustang also. Uh, you have to wait for that. So from here, from Muktina, you can start your Upper Mustang trekking also. But Upper Mustang trekking is one of the expensive trekking. Like for the permit only, you have to pay $500. So this is our ninth day. And then we are in Muktinath. So. so we can sleep at Muktinath. And then after that, there is Kagbeni. By walking from Muktinath to Kagbeni, it will take like seven hours, six to seven hours more. So we can stay in Kagbeni. And after that, there is Jomsom. Jomsom uh, is the very nice place in this trek, but normally people didn't stay there. Okay. So one uh, from Muktinath, people directly come to Jomsom. Uh, that is like gonna be 10th day. And another is like from Jomsom, people go by bus to Tatopani. Tatopani is really famous for the hot spring. In this trek, uh, we didn't stop in Tatopani because of some reason but Tatopani is like the natural hot spring and then it will help to recover your body in the very good condition like your tiredness will uh, be released if you stop there and then take a like take a half hour bath so you can stop in Tatopani and then after Tatopani you can come back to Pokhara so that's how the 12 days gonna be finished from Kathmandu to uh, Pokhara so uh, this is on the way the road is not nice yes another thing is like from Jomsom you can also take a flight Okay, thank you so much. Uh, please, if you're watching this till now, then don't forget to subscribe. And if you have any question, any type of problem, you can just comment me or you can just contact me. Uh, I'm gonna give my contact details in the description. You can contact me, you can WhatsApp me, you can message me in Facebook, you can message me in Instagram as your choice. Any type of suggestion, you can just give me. Thanks. Thank you so much.